San Baitskano. I'm Grace Brown. You're watching Talk With Me. San Baitskano Utsuk Chite. Hello and welcome to this special New Year's edition of Talk With Me. I'm Grace Brown. We are here at the South Korean ambassador to Mongolia's home, Oh Song. Ambassador Song holds a bachelor's degree in international relations from Seoul National University. He's worked for South Korea's Ministry of Foreign Affairs at home, as well as serving as first secretary of the Korean Embassy in India and the United States of America. He was also minister counselor in Indonesia and a minister in Canada before moving to Mongolia. Thank you so much, Ambassador, for having us here, and it's looking very festive indeed. Mm -hmm. um, you've been living in Mongolia now uh, for just over two years, correct? Yes. Since 2015. Uh, two and a half years. Mm -hmm. And what was the most uh, memorable experience for you during your time here? Actually, uh, during my tenure in here, I travel. I travel a lot, uh, especially uh, all the IMAX in. Mongolia. All of them? Yes, 21 wow. IM IMAX. Wow. So it was a, a wonderful experience for me to see uh, the country where I worked, I lived. So this is a wonderful experience for me. There's so much to see outside of Ulaanbaatar, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, the I've, I've been privileged to travel a fair amount here, not 21 mm -hmm. IMAX, but yes. Um, you know, there's nothing like being on the road, right? And mm. the desert, the forest, the mm -hmm. lakes, mm. just, it's, it's amazing the things you see when you're out there. What mm -hmm. was your favorite part of Mongolia? No, actually many, many people, many people think that the uh, Terulji National Air, uh, mm -hmm. Park is one of the, the wonderful uh, the scenes in Mongolia. But I think that the Mongolia has more and more beautiful scenes. I would agree, uh, yes. yes. And that the, uh, very recently I vi uh, visited to the, the Shalgarjot uh, by Hungar Aymak. That is at the hot spring. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a wonderful, uh, unique experience for me to enjoy the, the hot spring in Mongolia. Oh. Because that the, I uh, enjoy the, the hot spring is beyond my imagination. Other places I prefer is at the uh, Ulang Chotgalang. Ulang Chotgalang is at the located in uh, Urangai Aima. Uh -huh. It's kind of the, the uh, waterfall. Orhangai. Oh yes, yes, uh, waterfall. Is, is that the Orkhon Valley? Uh, the Or yes, yes. The Orkhon waterfall. Yes, I've yes. been there. And uh, the the scenery was uh, wonderful. Mm. Uh, so it's good uh, uh, for me to uh, enjoy the. Mm. the uh, natural scene in Mongolia. I agree. Mm -hmm. That waterfall is just spectacular. Unfortunately, yes. the day we went, it was a little cold, so mm -hmm. we couldn't swim, but some people do swim. I've seen. But actually, sometimes maybe uh, the, the traveling the, the outside, the, the Ulaanbaatar is also uh, happy for me mm. because sometimes I drove myself. Uh, driving the, the car on the, the off road is a unique experience. Uh, I cannot experience such an experience maybe in Korea or in other advanced countries. Right, because in Mongolia only 10% of the roads are actually yes, paved, yes. so you, you do get to go so on off-road adventures yes, very so often. So maybe kind of the, the driving uh, the, the off-road is that the very unique experience. So this is also good to me. Mm. Your job requires you to move around and live in many different places. Yes. Um, how did you find that and your family find that? Mm. Uh, you know, the, the sometimes I ask to myself because the, the moving around is my destiny mm. because I chose uh, my profession, mm. myself. Sometimes uh, my wife also uh, honor uh, the, the, this kind of the, the destiny because she chose me as a husband. Mm. But sometimes I ask my children because uh, status of the, the uh, diplomat dependent it was given to them. Mm. So not their own decision, choice. Sometimes there is why that the, uh, there is kind of a little bit difference between uh, me and my children in moving around. 
uh, moving around is my destiny, as I told you. So I had I had no uh, choice but to uh, leave my mm -hmm. profession. But for my children, it's not easy for them to adapt, adjust to the, the new environment, mm. especially new school. Mm. Uh, while they attended the, the school, they should make the, the new friends whenever they move to the, the new environment. Yes. That is the, the, some uh, uh, demerit, demerit for them. So sometimes uh, moving around is merit, but at the same time, uh, the, the demerit yes. uh, for the, the children. It's true. I mean, it, it can be a wonderful thing in terms of new cultural experiences, yes. I'm sure, and seeing more of the world growing up. But certainly, um, you know, having to say goodbye mm -hmm. to friends and always make new friends mm -hmm. and uh, adjust to new mm -hmm. curriculums, yes, yes mm -hmm. I'm sure. Um, but what a wonderful adventure for you and your family, mm -hmm. nonetheless. Mm -hmm. um, of course, what makes it easier is there's quite a lot of uh, Korean influence here in Mongolia, including food. Yes. Where do you go in Ulaanbaatar for true Korean food? Uh, there are many, many Korean uh, the restaurants in Ulaanbaatar. Mm. Uh, you know, compared to the other country where I worked, it's quite easy to find that the, uh, the quality Korean food restaurant. Uh, you know, Okay, let me say that the, a little bit of different story. Uh, at this time, uh, the, the number of the, the Mongolian peoples living in Korea is almost 40,000. And the, the number of the, the Mongolian people returning to Mongolia after residing in Korea is uh, almost at the 300,000. That's huge. That's the 10% percent percent of the, the total yes. population. <laughs> that means that the many Mongolian people uh, really enjoy the, the Korean food. Mm. There is why, there is why the, the, uh, many, many Korean restaurants exist in Ulaanbaatar. South Korea and Mongolia have had uh, long-standing mm -hmm. relations dating back to the Mongol Empire. Yes. How have ties between the two countries developed in recent decades mm -hmm. and when did this embassy open? Mm -hmm. As you just mentioned, the, the Korea and Mongolia share the, the long history of interaction, and over the, the maybe uh, over 1,000 years, we uh, exchanged the, the uh, many aspects, include, including the cultural aspects. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, that the Korean people and the Mongolian people look similar. Yes, I've, mm. I've often thought that. Yes. So, with, uh, based upon the, the long history of the, the interaction, mm. exchanges, or even the, the uh, biological aspects, mm. uh, we can uh, the, the grow up the, the, uh, very close the, the feelings toward with each other. And based upon this uh, sentiment, we can uh, further the, the bilateral relationship. Mm. Actually, uh, the Korea and Mongolia established the, the diplomatic relations in 1990. So uh, it is uh, almost so 27 years. Since Mongolia's yeah. transition to democracy. Yes, yes. So the, the uh, Mongolia's transition to democracy is the, the concord with the, the establishment of the, the diplomatic relations between the two, two countries. And uh, we share the, the same values, democracy and market economy. The embassy building itself, it mm. has to be uh, one of the coolest buildings yes. in town. I mean, mm. um, it just looks so different. Where did the inspiration for this architecture come from? Uh, no, the, the, uh, we, we moved into the, the new building uh, last year. And I was told from the, the, the Korean architect company that the, the design uh, was uh, motivated by the, the uh, Korean traditional teacup. Really? Mm -hmm. You know that the, we we have the, the similar uh, the, the customs like Mongolia. Whenever we have the, the guest, mm. then we serve the, the guest with the, the uh, deep heart 
First, that the uh, tea, like that the Mongolian people serve that the uh, sute tea, mm -hmm. and we have that the traditional tea, uh, such as the ginseng tea or other teas. Mm. So, uh, the concept, the motivation was that the, to serve that the guest with the, the deep heart. That was why that the Korean architect company designed uh, that the, uh, such a building. Ah, oh, wow. What and a wonderful meaning. Uh, maybe not the, I think that the, for the, the uh, viewers to understand easily, I, can, I bring uh, the, the Korean uh, tea cups Ah, oh, fantastic. Here. Yes. Actually, this is the Korean traditional tea cups. And I can see, looking at it now, the yes. <laughs> so similarity the, to the uh, building. Yes. To preserve the, the, uh, the, the, the hot tea, I mean, we use the lid like this. And the, the, you can see that the uh, uh, tea inside. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the, the uh, Korean uh, tea cup has no handle to uh, grab. Yes. That is why that the, we need that the, uh, we our ancestors use the special uh, the method uh, to uh, protect the, the body from the heat. So this is the double. Ah, so you have an inner yes. and an outer cup. Yes, because the, the, uh, so this is a kind of the, the double system mm. uh, to protect the, mm. the heat from uh, the, the heat inside. Yes. Mm. And protecting your hands too. How yes. clever. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, anyhow, the, the, we, uh, uh, the, the, we made up my mind, our mind, to serve the, the guest mm. with deep heart whenever we have the, the guest uh, from Korea and from uh, the, the Mongolia. You mentioned that one of the uh, core values that the mm. two countries share is a market economy. Let's talk about bilateral trade, mm -hmm. um, which has increased more than 200 times over the last 20 years. Yes. Mm. Um, how are things uh, currently? Mm. What, what is the level of trade between Mongolia and South Korea? Uh, at this time, the, the uh, Personally, I think that the compared to other uh, aspect areas, the economic cooperation is uh, has more room to develop. Mm. What I mean is that the, the the economic cooperation and exchanges a little bit slow mm -hmm. between Korea and Mongolia, but uh, this year this year Mongolia can uh, start the, the a little bit recovery, economic recovery. Then yes. Uh, the trade volume between Korea and Mongolia also started to increase. Uh, maybe main uh, the export item from Korea to Mongolia is the automobile or automobile items, uh, something like that. Mm. And in the meantime, the the, uh, the uh, export item from Mongolia to Korea is cashmere, mm. something like that, and the. the Cashmere, increase of cashmere export is uh, magnificent this year. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because uh, some the, the stores uh, were set up in Korea uh, for the Mongolian cashmere to be sold. Ah. And Mongolian cashmere is very popular among the, the Korean consumers. I suppose, I mean, it gets very cold in the winter in uh, Korea as well, right? Yes, yeah. and the, the compared to other cashmeres, uh, such as that the, in other countries, Mongolian cashmere, the quality. Oh, you is can't compare. I mean, the, right. the, the goats here yes. and uh, the yaks, <laughs> yes. they and have to withstand such the price harsh is, cold. Price is also very effective. Yes. So that is why that the Mongolian cashmere is uh, the attractive to the, the Korean consumers. Oh. Uh, we, and at, the, at this time, uh, we, the, uh, we uh, the started that the a uh, joint study for the, the EPA, the Economic, Economic Partnership Agreement, mm -hmm. and that the uh, joint research is almost completed. Mm -hmm. And at this time, that I heard uh, the both countries, both teams, uh, preparing for the, the final report. Mm -hmm. And after that, the 
uh, finalizing the, the report, we will enter the, the official negotiation for the, the uh, economic partnership agreement. Mm. If we sign the, the EPA, then the, the, uh, the tariff can be decreased. Then we expect that the more and more uh, goods to be traded between Korea and Mongolia. And at the same time, that the EPA also uh, stipulate that the investment protection. So we can have that the legal framework for the Korean companies' mm -hmm. uh, investment in Mongolia. There is a the good signal for the, the Korean companies uh, to invest into Mongolian market. Well, uh, speaking of investment in mm -hmm. Mongolia, South Korea is actually investing $700 million in this country over the coming years, correct? Mm, yes. Uh, what are the sectors that are being targeted? And uh, I'm happy to uh, say that the, our government pledges to uh, support the Mongolia economically, uh, for Mongolia to recover from the, the economic uh, the hardships. And out of 700 uh, the, the million US dollars, uh, maybe the Korea and Mongolia already uh, decided that the sectors for the, the 200 million US dollars, uh, these, these 200 million US dollars will be invested into the, the uh, renovation of the, the heating system in 10 IMAX. Mm. Uh, I, this uh, renovation uh, project uh, will be the helpful for the, the Mongolian people uh, to uh, the live in the, the cold the seasons. And we will also invest into the, the renovation of the, the waste water system in Ulaanbaatar, mm. uh, especially in Harugia region. In addition to this uh, 700 million US dollars, this is the, the uh, ODA project, official development assistance project. And in addition, uh, this kind of the ODA project will also have the, the grant aid project. Uh, at this time, uh, we are constructing the, the eco-friendly energy town in uh, Nalayu area. Nailak. Yes. Ah. Uh, this uh, eco-friendly energy town is comprising of the solar power and the wind power energy. And after completing the, the construction, we, our government, will give this uh, facility to the Mongolian government. Mm. Then Mongolian government run this facility to produce the, the electricity and the heat. It from uh, from and clean sources yes, rather than coal, which yes, Nailak is famous and for. And provide that the Mongolian people. And as I told you, this is the eco-friendly mm. solar energy and wind power. On the, the uh, enterprise level, uh, as I told you before, that the, with the, the recovery, economic recovery of Mongolian uh, economic situation, uh, the several Korean companies already watch it, and that the, what is going on and what will happen in Mongolia, and they are ready to invest mm -hmm. when the the, uh, the conditions are ripe. And when what when would the conditions be ripe? When there is more political stability? for example? Political stability and as I told you that the legal framework for uh, to protect the, the investment. Yes. So in that sense that the EPA is a uh, the necessary. Mm. 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 And most of all that the uh, good prospect for the, the economic the situation in Mongolia. And because that the private enterprises uh, eye uh, on the, the profit. So yes. Mm. And uh, this is the very uh, the, the important uh, the factors for the, the private businessmen uh, into the, the market. For example, in Ulaanbaatar, we have the, the uh, two e-mart, the, the store. Yes, and they're very popular. Yes, and they are already uh, the, the, uh, starting the, the construction of the, the third e-mart. Oh, e really? Yes. Where will that be? Uh, in Jaising area. In Zaisan? Yes. Ah. And the, the, the difference, uh, the, the number one, number two EMAT and number three EMAT is that the number one, number two is that the rent, that the space. Mm. But uh, uh, number three EMAT 
is at the uh, new construction. Mm. So the, they will construct the new building for the, the, uh, only for the, the e-mart. Mm. So uh, this is also good uh, for the, the, uh, the, the exchange of goods mm. between Korea and Mongolia. And that's also a bigger investment and show of confidence on part of those yes. investors. Yes. Earlier you also mentioned just how many Mongolians are currently residing yes. in mm -hmm. South Korea. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, about 10,000 or so of them are working mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. illegally. Mm -hmm. What is the South Korean government doing to try and address that? Sometimes not maybe the, the not easy to uh, address this issue because, mm -hmm. as I told you before, the, the between Korea and Mongolia, mm -hmm. between the, the Korean people and Mongolian people, we have the, the many similarities. Yes, many Mongolian people went to Korea a long time ago, and they lived in Korea for a long time. They got married. They. Uh, had that the children and that the children already grow up, so the maybe the Korea is uh, the, the second hometown for them. So uh, the for the, the Mongolian people who live in Korea for a long time, living Korea is not easy. Mm. So then I think that the the uh, the uh, easy approach is to accommodate these illegal residents into the, the Korean society. Korea is at the one of the, the countries with the, the low rate, low birth rate. Uh, for example, that the, uh, the among the, the OECD countries, Korea is at the lowest, lowest birth rate country. Really? Yes. Lower and even than Japan. Right. Wow. And that the on average on average that the uh, 1.2 per couple. Wow. So many uh, Korean people the experts of the uh, concern of the, the uh, short uh, the, the low birth rate. I think that the in future in the future Korean government uh, the, the think differently to accommodate the, the foreign people into the, the uh, Korean society. This is my personal uh, the, the idea. Personally, I worked in the United States and in Canada, and I saw that the U.S. government and the, the Canadian government to uh, integrate the, the foreign people, the immigrant, into the, the mainstream. Mm. Well, previous U.S. administrations. Yes, anyway. yes, yes, and maybe the uh, among the, the OECD countries, the some small, uh, some the few countries uh, witnessed that the increase of population, but increase of population not by birth, mm. but by the, the immigration or social integration. The, I think that the Korea is on the, the, the such a track. So it's, it's actually, in your view, necessary to mm. have more immigration anyways, given the low birth rate. You're right. Right, mm. right. Mm. Interesting. Um, in addition, uh, we also have many uh, Koreans in Mongolia. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I've, I've read reports of, for example, uh, North Koreans crossing into Mongolia via the Gobi Desert mm. through China, mm. including Yeonmi Park. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, she, she explained um, how she flew from Ulaanbaatar to mm. Seoul. Mm -hmm. What is the, the process when um, these defectors from mm -hmm. North Korea mm -hmm. arrive here. Mm -hmm. how, how do you deal with that? Mm -hmm. uh, the, the long time ago, Mongolia was uh, the popular route for the, the North Korean defectors yes. uh, to go to South Korea. Because the, the, maybe in, the, in China, 
the, the, the cooperation was not easy from the, the Chinese government. Because they're considered uh, illegal in yeah, China yes, yes. and sent back. Yes, and so there was why that the Mongolia was at the popular route. But this, uh, this was at a long time ago, maybe uh, seven years or eight years ago. So uh, maybe the Miss Yeonmi Park was one of the defectors at that time. And you know, the, I traveled the, the Gobi Desert. Passing the Gobi Desert is very dangerous. Yes. So uh, then the, this, uh, the, the passage of the, the Gobi Desert became the, the unpopular among the, the North Korean defectors because the passage was not easy. Mm. There was why that the many defectors went to the, the Southeast Asian countries, such as the, the uh, Laos mm. or Cambodia. And that the procedure is that the, uh, very simple. Uh, all the, the Korean embassies uh, have that the, uh, those Korean defectors. Then we should negotiate with uh, the, uh, the, the country, government, uh, where the, our embassies exist. Mm. Then without the, the approval from the, the uh, government, we cannot send the, the defectors to Seoul, South Korea. So the procedure, it, procedure is very simple. Mm. If we have the, the defectors, we have to discuss how to handle mm. this defector with uh, the government of the, the where we, uh, the embassy exists. Mm. Then if the embassy fails to get that the approval from the, the government, then we cannot send the, the defectors to Seoul, South Korea. Mm. So uh, just uh, that the uh, negotiation or discussion is at the prerequisite. Mm. Mm. That's very interesting. Of course, uh, Mongolia is um, one of the few countries in the world to mm. have diplomatic ties with both South Korea and North Korea. Mm -hmm. um, Right now, as, as we speak, uh, nuclear tensions on the Korean mm -hmm. Peninsula remain very high. How are uh, Mongolia and South Korea working together to try and reduce those mm -hmm. tensions? For example, six-party talks? Yes, you know, the, the, uh, the, the stability on the Korean Peninsula or uh, and those Korean uh, nuclear issues or missile launch uh, are the, the vital the, the, uh, issue to Mongolia as well because okay, first of all, I, I told you several times that the many Mongolian people reside in South Korea. For example, almost the 40,000. Yes. If that the, uh, the situation on the Korean Peninsula is not stabilized, then these uh, 40,000 Mongolian people's life is also threatened. Mm -hmm. So maybe that the whenever I uh, that the met that the Mongolian government officials, I explained that the situation, instability on the Korean Peninsula is directly linked with uh, the Mongolian people's life, fate. So that is why that the. Uh, the, the stability on the Korean Peninsula is a vital interest to the, the Mongoli, Mongolian government and Mongolian people. And second, Mongolia is the, the UN member. As you know, the, uh, the, the UN Security Council uh, the, uh, uh, got the, the many re uh, resolutions after North Korea conducted the, the nuclear test yes. or missile uh, launch and UN member uh, is uh, the, the oblig uh, obligatory to honor the, the Security Council's resolution. So, so far, so far, Mongolian government submitted the, the implementation report based upon the, the UN Security Council's resolution. And uh, sometimes that the uh, the Mongolian government. Uh, cancel the, the uh, registration of the, the 
uh, the, the Mongolian uh, ship uh, of the, the uh, convenience. Sometimes the, the, the flag of convenience. Yes. Sometimes the, uh, the, the owner is the, the North Korean company or people, but uh, the, the register uh, the, the, uh, to the, the other country for the convenience. I've read about this, and, they, and there have been cases of them flying under mm. a Mongolian flag, yes. which, which doesn't make sense given Mongolia is a mm. landlocked uh, yes. country. But you know what? The, the, the Mongol Mongolia, e even if Mongolia is, is a landlocked country, but many uh, the vessels or ships are registered uh, uh, in Mongolia. Mm. And the, uh, following that the uh, UN Security Council's resolution, Mongolian government deregistered such a uh, that the ship uh, uh, that the uh, convenience. Mm. This is that the one example. The Mongolian government hosted the, the Ulaanbaatar dialogue. Mm. to uh, talk about the, the how to secure the, the prosperity uh, the, the in uh, Northeast Asia. And security. Yes. And which year was that Ulaanbaatar dialogue? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that the Ulaanbaatar dialogue was initiated maybe uh, f three to four years ago. And that involved six-party uh, talks with uh, the United States yes, and China, Russia. Yes, the participants is almost the, the same mm -hmm. with the six-party talks. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so far, that the North Korean participants also uh, took part in the, the Ulaanbaatar dialogue uh, every year. Uh, so, anyhow, that the Ulaanbaatar dialogue is uh, is a good occasion. Mm. Uh, for the, the uh, track two people, uh, what, I mean, what I mean is that the uh, civilian, uh, that the people, NGO people, or the scholars, to uh, share their ideas. Slightly lighter topic now, mm. uh, you know, tourism to South Korea is growing, increasingly mm -hmm. popular, especially from here. More yes. flights from Ulaanbaatar to, say, Seoul and mm -hmm. Busan. Where would you suggest that tourists go and see in South Korea and what sort of things should they do? Very recently, I traveled at the countryside in mm. South Korea. Well the organized, well preserved mm. in there because we have that the local government system. I saw that the many well uh, the organized, well preserved, the uh, the, the heritage or artifact. One uh, thing that South Korea is very well known for is its entertainment mm -hmm. industry, its uh, TV shows and K-pop. Why um, is South Korean entertainment so popular in so many Asian countries and indeed around the world? You know, the, the, uh, Maybe actually I'm not the, the expert on the, the uh, cultural the aspect, but my uh, personal view is that the first that the, the value, you know, uh, in Korea, in and in Asia, we honor the, the family. Mm. So our value is centered on the, the family. Mm. So the Korean drama is also. Uh, that the emphasize that the value of family. Mm. So, you no, know, sometimes that the in that the Western countries in or uh, uh, in the USA, their culture, or their culture is a little bit different from that the Asian. Mm. So, in that sense, that the the Korean dramas, Korean movies are appealing to that the Asian people because of that the emphasis on the, the family. Value. That's very interesting. How do South Koreans celebrate New Year? Uh, South Korea is the, the well, same to other the countries. Maybe, maybe the maybe more can, karaoke. Yes, we can <laughs> we can count uh, down just uh, before the, the uh, New Year. Mm -hmm. Maybe from ten, uh, <laughs> the, the nine, blah blah blah. Maybe karaoke. Actually, <laughs> the, the, the karaoke is the, the just uh, not uh, only for the, the Christmas or year-end party, but also the, the older year. Final question, uh, Ambassador. Mm -hmm. 
What is your New Year resolution? You know, the, the, uh, we personally, personally, I don't make the, the special New Year resolution. Long time ago, when um, I smoked, <laughs> maybe you know, the, the normally uh, stop smoking is one of the, the New Year's resolution, but I already uh, stopped smoking. Uh, so I just uh, the slept without the, the making the, the New Year's resolution. But, uh, but sometimes maybe the, uh, I wish uh, the, the good luck for my children who are good health for my families or the, the good, uh, something like that. Mm. So uh, not uh, especially on the, the just uh, the, the New Year's resolution, but just all the year round. Wishing good luck. Yes. Um, well, thank you so much, Ambassador, for having us here. Mm. It's been a pleasure to talk with you. Okay. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year, and uh, thank you very much for your coming to our uh, residence. I think that the, this is a the good chance uh, for us to show our uh, residence uh, to the viewers of your program and that the two other Mongolian people. So in that sense, the, the, um, I highly appreciate your uh, time and uh, coming to the, the residency here. Thank, Thank you, you very again. Much. That was South Korea's ambassador to Mongolia, Oh Song. I'm Grace Brown. Thank you very much for joining us for this New Year's edition of Talk With Me. Wish you all the best in 2018. Please follow us on Facebook, our page is Talk With Me, Star TV Mongolia. You can also keep up with us on Twitter, at Talk With Me. Shall we toast? Yes, sure. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Happy New Year. And Happy New Year. Shin Jilin Mind Horgi.